Yeah, hello guys, welcome back. So we're going to do exercise uh, 1A and question D now. And they want us to simplify x plus half divided by 4x plus 2. Okay, so this looks a little bit more complicated. We've got um, a half here to deal with, um, so we haven't seen so far. So let's just sort of attack this as we have been doing logically. You know, let's say, what can we do to the top at the moment? Well, there's nothing we can do at the moment, so we'll just leave that. Uh, on the bottom, as you can see, two is a common factor. So you know, let's just let's just factorise the, uh, the bottom. So we're just going to stay with top, keep top, and factorising the bottom, so we're going to get 2 times 2x plus 1. Okay, so let's see what we've got. And so far it doesn't seem as so, though uh, that's, that's helped. Um, so what we, we, we want to sort of turn this really into uh, you know, a whole number, okay? Um, that, that might help. Uh, so let's, let's give that a go um, and see what we get. So the kind of highest sort of whole number we could probably get, um, you know, if we, so for example, if we're going to times that by one, you just get half. If you're going to times by two, you'd get one. So well, let's just try timesing it by two, okay? That would be the sort of uh, smallest whole number. Why not? Okay, so we times it by two. And what you got to remember that if you're going to times that by two, to keep the whole thing in ratio with each other, you got to times that by two. So getting more complicated but let's see what we end up with so we're gonna get 2x and we're gonna get plus 1 for the top and for this one it doesn't matter um, whether you want to times the 2 by what's in the brackets then times it by the 2 um, but I'm just gonna basically times that together first and then times that together so that's gonna be um, 4 times 2x which is 8x and then 4 plus 4 times plus 1 which is 4 okay so this looks uh, a little bit more doable and uh, so now let's you know we can't do anything really to the, the top but we can do something to the bottom so let's have a go at doing something to the bottom uh, let's factorize and so we can take 4 out as a factor uh, plus 1 and as you can see we've now got the numerator and denominator the same so we can cancel out that and you know that's a 1 there so then you're left with uh, 1 quarter as your answer so uh, there we go I'm just going to leave it there and we'll review this question because um, there's, there's quite a lot to sort of um, maybe get our heads around. So I'll see you in the review.